The deck building set Crossover Breakers comes out later this year, and as any deck building set does, it introduces three new archetypes into the trading card game. So today we're going to be looking at one of these three archetypes, and of course we're going to be doing a video for each one of them, learning how to play them together, looking at all the cards, and understanding how to actually play the strategy. Today we're going to be looking at the Malice cards, the complementary tech cards that you need to probably get your hands on right now if you want to play this deck, and replays of course, how to play the deck correctly. Of course, it only just released a few days ago as I'm recording it in Japan, so there's going to be a lot of room for experimentation, but this is going to be the place for you to learn about Malice. Make sure to like this video and subscribe for more videos for the other archetypes, Ryzeal and Ryuge, which are going to be super exciting. Malice are level 3 and link 3 dark cybers archetype that benefit from being banished, equipped with a set of 3 normal trap cards that can all be activated the turn they are set by banishing a face-up Malice monster you control. All level 3 main deck Malice monsters can pay 300 life points to summon themselves back if they're banished and lock you into links from the extra deck for the rest of the turn. And all link 3 monsters can pay 900 life points to summon themselves back if they're banished. White Rabbit is your starter and can set a Malice Trap on Summon directly from the deck and prevents any battle damage of a Malice Link monster battles. Dormouse can banish a Malice from deck and protects your Malice Links that point to it from being destroyed by battle. And Cheshire Cat can banish a Malice card from your hand to draw two cards and can banish all monsters destroyed by battle with Malice Link monsters they point to it. In terms of links, you have White Binder that can banish up to three cards from your graveyard on summon and can set a Malice Trap card from your deck during your main phase. Red Ransom can add a Malice spell on summon and swap your opponent's effects, monsters, attack and defense points while it points to a monster and Hearts of Cryptor can, as a quick effect, shuffle a banished Malice card to banish a card on the field, non-targeting, an effect which cannot be negated if Cryptor points to a monster. As for the trap cards, MTP07 adds a Malice from deck, then if you control a Malice link, you can banish one card on the field. GWC06 can summon a Malice from graveyard or banishment, then gain life points equal to its original attack. And TB11 is your starter that can summon a Malice from deck, or if your opponent controls three or more cards, can just summon a Malice Link monster directly from the extra deck. Now there's a lot of special tech cards that you're going to be playing with the Malice cards. Of course, Malice is a Cybers strategy, which has a ton of support and a lot of really successful decks in the past have played Cybers cards. And in addition to that, the Malice cards really benefit from being banished. So first of all, Firewall Dragon Neo Tempest Terahertz. Yes, this card was played heavily back in the days of Math Mech and basically as a quick effect can send a Cybers monster from the extra deck or the deck to the graveyard and gain its attribute and gain 2500 attack and it can do it every single turn. So of course you have Cybers the Save Worm which was already played in Math Mech, which provides an additional spell negate to your end board. You have Meriologic Aggregator which when being sent to the graveyard can target a card your opponent controls and just negate it. And additionally, and this is something new that we didn't have back in the Math Mech days, we have Enigmaster Packbit, which is of course a Cybers and when sent to the graveyard, can place one of your opponent's monsters as a trap card in the back row, which I think is a really quality piece of interaction. Now furthermore, of course, you have cards like Allure of Darkness, draws you two cards, banishes any dark monster, and again, if any Malice monster gets banished, you can summon it to the field. So this Allure of Darkness is probably as good as it is in branded and then of course gold sarcophagus which can basically in this deck summon any malice from deck and unfortunately dimension shifter additional cards released in rage of the abyss like dominus impulse are really really good in this deck dominus impulse negates an effect that special summons a monster it's just a quality piece of interaction but you can also activate it from the hand barring you don't activate effects of light earth and wind monsters for the rest of the duel so in this deck which is mostly darks if you're in a pinch you can definitely play dominus impulse and benefit from its hand interaction and lastly cards like the topologics zero boros and trisbania 
can really benefit from you summoning monsters into their link zones. It's really easy to link up in this deck. And of course, we do that when we finalize the end board with the GWC trap card, and we'll get to that in a minute. So now you have an understanding of all the cards that are relevant, all the tech cards that are going to be combined with the Malice cards. And now let's look at how the deck actually plays so you get an understanding of what the deck is capable of. So this is going to be the sample deck we use for today. And as a special treat for this series of videos, I'm going to be linking this deck into the comments below so you at home can follow along with the combo and learn a little bit about what the deck actually does. We're playing three Dormouse and three White Rabbits because they are starters and one Cheshire Cat. We're playing a lot of hand traps here because it's a Cybers deck. You know there's a pretty small engine. Ash Blossom, Bestials that can also trigger your Malice cards, of course. Shifters, Drolls, because, well, Charmy Fuaros is going to be released before this deck comes out. And Dotscaper, you're going to get to see this in the combo. We banish it, and when it's banished, it can special summon itself. And, you know, Dotscaper is a classic Cybers extender. We're playing one Designator, three of the Malice and Underground Field spell, which we didn't cover in the intro. You'll see that in action in a minute. Silent Mining, of course. Called by the Grave, Gold Sarcophagus, Terraforming to get to the Malice in Underground, which is also a starter. Three Dominus Impulse, three Imperms, and three, one of each of the trap cards. Now, in the extra we're playing one of each Link 3s. There are only Link 3s in this archetype currently. Access Code, Transcode, Link Decoder, Espionai, IP Mascarena, Firewall Dragon, Neo Terrorhertz, Apollosa, Splash Mage, Lingaribo, Disave Worm, and Aggregator. You're going to be seeing a lot of different builds of this strategy there are some builds combining mathman cards but i think this is still early to assume how it's going to be played but rather important to show how the core deck actually works so without further ado download this deck in the description below right now and follow along because this is the combo so this is going to be our combo one normal summon of malice pawn white rabbit this is what we're going to be doing Malice is going to set us the TB11, which can now can be activated by just banishing the White Rabbit from the field. So we're going to do that and summon the Dormouse from the deck. White Rabbit is going to trigger pay 300, turn itself into a Lingaribo, and then go into Espionite, which can now banish the Dormouse, which can now, of course, pay 300 life points to summon it back onto the field. Now we can activate its ignition effect to just banish any Malice card, right? We're going to get to Cheshire Cat, which can now pay 300, of course, and special summon itself from being banished. These are all the names that we currently have in the game. And we're going to be turning SP and the Cheshire Cat into Red Ransom, which can now can grab us. The field spell can search a spell on summon. We're going to go ahead, link it to Splash, summon back, turn these into White Binder. Now on summon, it can target up to three cards in the graveyards and banish them. So we're going to be banishing the trap and red ransom, pay 900, summon back the ransom, and combined with that effect, banish a cybers from the deck. We're going to get to Dotscaper, banish it, and summon it by its own effect. Now, White Binder, we can activate this effect to set the GWC, which we're going to be using on our opponent's turn, and linking up into Decoder, Firewall Dragon, bringing back the Decoder here, and activating the field spell. Now, the field spell is interesting because when it resolves, just when the effect, the activation resolves, you can banish a malice from grave. So we're just gonna place it on the field and then banish the white binder. Now, the white binder can special summon itself. We draw a card by its own effect. You pay 900, special summon it. They all have different effects um, in addition to paying 900 and summoning them. Firewall Dragon can now bring us back two monsters from the graveyard, and we're gonna be linking away into the last link three heart of Cryptor. Now we're going to be activating Firewall to summon back the Cheshire Cat from the hand. We're going to be banishing as cost one Malice monster from our hand and drawing two cards. So basically we start off with one card. We already have so much on field and three additional cards in hand. We're going to be linking away these two in addition to Firewall Dragon. So Firewall, Cheshire and Cryptor into Neo Tempest Terahertz, and we're going to be sending the Save Worm to the graveyard. Now, this is the setup of your board at the end of the turn. We have the Spell Negate here, we have Neo Tempest Terahertz, and we have Malice GWC. So, we set it during our opponent's turn, we can activate GWC, 
Special summon back white binder and gain life points because we paid a lot equal to its attack. Now on summon, on special summon, it can banish three cards from your grave here. So we're going to banish the three links and the rabbit here. And we're going to be activating all of their effects to special summon themselves back to the field. So we had one monster on the field <laughs> and now we have so many more. We're going to be activating the rabbit here to set us MTP from the deck. And then we're going to be activating Terra Hurt. Again, this is already the part where you need to interact with your opponent. You can send Aggregator to Negate. You can send Pack Bit, as we mentioned before. You also have the Spell Negate. Now, in addition to that, you have tons of monsters on the board, which can now, you know, they are very protected by battle, from um, battle damage, from destruction, because they're all pointing to each other. But you also have two additional quick effects. Now, Hearts of Cryptor, quick effect can target one of your Banished Malice cards, and you have one of these right here, and you also should have the trap. Shuffle it back and banish one card on target. And this one also adds a Malice, and then if you control a Malice monster, you can banish it on target. So you have two Banished on target, two Interruptions with Neo Terra Hertz. You have, um, essentially, you should have six cards in hand because we all only started with one, and we drew three in the combo, so it's actually seven cards in hand, kind of absurd. And this is basically what this type of combo in Malice does. Now, I think this is pretty cool. This is a pretty good basis for a deck. It does still have the very recognizable DNA of a Cybers deck, right? It doesn't fool anyone because we're playing for like 10 minutes to end on a Neo Tempest Terahertz, right? But I think that's a pretty good place to start. A deck that can wave one on release, do this. I think it's pretty promising and pretty interesting. Leave your thoughts in the comments below. Again, make sure to check out the next episode with the next archetype. Is it going to be Ryuga? Is it going to be Ryzeal? Two new archetypes from the set crossover breakers. We're going to do the same episode we did today for those archetypes. So stick around, like the video, subscribe, turn on the bell. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.